one way to deal with this externality, and it's not the only way, but if we can somehow get these suppliers to internalize this cost, internalize the externality, um, and account for all of the costs of their production, then that could solve the problem. So if we can tax them by just the right amount, and that right amount would be exactly the size of this, this external cost that's being imposed per unit. So if we just tax them per unit um, by that amount, what's called a Pigouvian tax, um, or Pigouvian tax after a guy named Pigou, um, if we tax them by that amount, then we've done taxes already. So that would be shifting their supply curve, adding to their private costs. We're just adding another cost to their production. Um, by the amount of that tax. And so if we shift that supply curve onto this marginal social cost curve, then that would give them the right incentive in terms of their production. They're gonna be accounting for all of the costs of their production um, by having to pay that tax. So that would put them at the right point and they'd be producing the efficient amount. So that would eliminate the deadweight loss. So this is an example of a tax that eliminates deadweight loss rather than um, creating deadweight loss because normally when we're we were doing taxes before we were assuming we were starting at the efficient point and then taxing so that always creates deadweight loss um, in this case this tax would eliminate deadweight loss assuming there are no other costs of this tax that we're uh, that we're looking at so the other um, kind of externality is a positive externality and um, the classic example that I usually use is uh, is a vaccine so you have some private willingness to pay for a vaccine and say this is like the market demand for vaccines and at a higher price fewer people are willing to get it and, and uh, vice versa so you get some private benefit when you get a vaccine because you are less likely to get the flu um, but you're also making it less likely for other people to get the flu which means you're imposing an external benefit on other people that you're not being compensated for um, so that you have no incentive to take that external benefit into account, which means for every vaccine that's consumed, the social benefit is greater than the private benefit, and, the, and people's demand is based on their own private benefits. And so that creates this positive externality, and we're also going to get an inefficient amount of this good consumed and produced. Um, we're assuming there's no externality on the supply side, so actually producing this good isn't imposing costs on anyone, so there's no pollution or anything like that. When we actually produce the vaccine, the externality is happening on the consumption side. Every time you consume it, there's this external benefit. And remember, the efficient amount of this good to be produced and consumed would account for all of the costs and all the benefits. Well, the social benefits are here, marginal social benefit, marginal social cost, so that's what you're um, comparing to decide whether we should be producing more of it and so the market is just accounting for private costs and private benefits but it would be efficient to keep producing um, because at this point the marginal social benefit is still above the marginal social cost so it would be efficient to keep producing and we get too little of this good in the case of positive externality just like we had too much of that good being produced in the case of a negative externality so again, with deadweight loss, just be, care be careful about labeling the right area. You're always looking at social costs and social benefits. And so if they're not equal where you're currently producing, that's what's creating that deadweight loss. So in this case, we're here, but we're, we're consuming and producing here. But at this point, the marginal social benefit is up here. The marginal social cost is here on this curve. And so there's this loss surplus in this case by not producing and consuming enough. Um, because there would have been more surplus created. All of these extra units have marginal social benefit above marginal social cost. It would be efficient to keep producing up until that point. Um, so just always compare those marginal social benefit and marginal social cost curves to determine what's happening with deadweight loss. Um, in this case, I'm I'm producing too little compared to the efficient outcome before we had too much of it, but either way, there's either lost surplus or wasted resources in the case of producing too much. Um, so either way, it's inefficient, so we've, we've created deadweight loss. And just like we had a tax to possibly deal with a negative externality, in this case, we'd want to, or one possibility is to subsidize this good. So if we were to pay people the amount of that external external benefit. So let's say every time you got a vaccine, if we 
could quantify it, it creates this $5 benefit of making other people less likely to get this, this disease. Um, and so if I just paid people $5, that would give people the right incentive. Um, some people on the margin who wouldn't have bought that vaccine, their willingness, their private willingness to pay was too low compared to that um, marginal social benefit and marginal social cost. And so if I give them just the right amount, those people on the margin will end up getting a vaccine and will be will get the right amount produced and consumed for this good. So some people had a high high enough willingness to pay even without the subsidy, they would still get it. That's why we, we still have this market outcome over here. It's just that it's a little too small compared to the efficient amount. There are some people who it's just uh, not worth it for them to get that vaccine. If we were to give them that external benefit that they're creating, that would give them the right incentives. So now we, we would want to be shifting this demand curve on top of that marginal social benefit curve by subsidizing them by the right amount.